Chapter 94 Soul of Devourer Roar! As Qin Yidian exerted force on his hands, the Benili beast Yuan Ling roared to the sky. Its huge body suddenly became crazy, the power of thunder and lightning became more and more obvious, and its body released a wild breath like a head completely irritated the prehistoric beast. Nye Tian, die honestly. Qin Yidian roared in his heart and sneered again and again. Really? At this moment, Nye Tian let out a strange laugh. The next moment, a strange scene happened. The power of thunder and lightning on the hand of Ben Lei was absorbed by Nye Tian at once, and the big purple thunder and lightning disappeared strangely. The power of the stars, the source of power, destroyed the sky, devoured the heavens and the earth. Awaken the power of the stars and activate the soul of the sky. In the soul space, in the realm of the galaxy, there was a thunderous sound, and Nye Tian was I froze for a moment. He guessed right before, the power of the stars can swallow the power of the stars. Soul of Devouring Heaven Nye Tian was ecstatic. The power of the stars destroys the sky and devours heaven and earth. Heaven and earth can swallow it, not to mention the power of thunder and lightning. Nye Tian, who had absorbed the power of thunder and lightning, suddenly became wilder. The golden yellow sky armor covering his body reappeared. It seemed that some kind of power of thunder and lightning was mixed into the golden dark light, releasing purple lightning, which looked very strange. This. The sudden scene made Qin Yidian look astonished and couldn't accept it for a while. At this time, even he began to suspect that Nye Tian was not a human being, but a ghost. After devouring Qin Yitian's lightning power, Nye Tian's figure became even faster, and the black giant sword condensed by the blood feather demon became sharper, flashing purple lightning, and rushed towards Qin Yitman. After all, Qin Yitian is a strong giant spirit, so he immediately calmed down. The real body of the giant spirit of the Benelli beast let out a shriek, and suddenly a purple grid appeared and enveloped him. Bang! The black giant sword fell, but it seemed to be putting on a thick and hard iron plate. Nye Tian's figure froze in the air, unable to move forward even half a step. Stinky boy, if you want to use my strength to defeat me, don't even think about it. Qin Yidian sneered, shook his backhand, and slapped out with a palm. Boom! There was a loud noise, and the two separated immediately. Nye Tian's figure flew upside down, his huge black wings shook in the air, and he immediately stabilized his body. The field fell into dead silence. How can that be? Am I wrong? Is it not a dream? After a while, everyone had the same question in their minds. Nye Tian and Qin Yidian fought each other. Not only did they not die, they did not lose, but Qin Yidian was forced to defend passively. This scene is simply more illusory than a dream. This kid's strength is so strong. After a while, Fan Jinwu uttered in surprise. He knew very well in his heart that with Qin Yitian's move just now, even if he met him, it would be very difficult to retreat. Zhang Yifeng was completely stunned, and his whole body was stiff. Lan Binji was so frightened that she was dumbfounded, she just stared blankly and remained motionless for a long time. Even Lan Bingchen was dead. The power of the stars, the soul of devouring the sky, really perverted. Nye Tian was also slightly shocked, feeling incredible about his strength. At this moment, he only awakened the power of 16 stars, and he was able to absorb a full blow from the giant spirit martial lord. If all the power of 900 billion stars were awakened, wouldn't it be so powerful that he couldn't understand it? However, Nye Tian also knew that besides the power of the stars, the more important reason for his ability to display such heaven-defying power was the blood feather heavenly fiend star soul, the golden yellow sky battle armor, and the third order explosive Yuan pill. Without the support of these three forces, Nye Tian would not be able to withstand Qin Nye Tian's blow with a hundred lives. But now, Nye Tian is facing a fatal dilemma, the blood feather demon is slowly weakening. The Bloodfeather Celestial Fiend Star Soul could only last for a short while. After confronting Qin Yidian head-on, the power of the Star Soul weakened rapidly and was about to disappear. 
Once the blood feather demon disappeared, Nye Tian would completely lose the power to resist. Stinky boy, this general admits that you are very powerful. But you still have to die, and you must die. Qin Yedian was almost crazy, and his killing intent was even stronger, almost gnashing his teeth. It's a shame that he is a majestic giant spirit, and he can't even kill a Yuanling warrior with all his strength. The next move, Nye Tian must die. Big Thunder Beast, strike the sky. Without waiting for a moment, Qin Yedian roared and struck down with both palms, terrifying purple lightning, carrying the power to destroy the world, struck down in the air. Oops. Nye Tian gasped, and his expression suddenly changed. He could feel that Nye Tian's blow was several times more powerful than the thunderbolts just now. Being hit by Nye Tian's blow, the steel and iron bones will also be turned into powder. What's even more frightening is that Nye Tian's blow is even more domineering and has no flaws at all. If he resists stubbornly, he will be smashed to pieces. At such a critical moment, Nye Tian had no time to think about it. Nye Tian circulated his body energy and filled it with the golden yellow sky armor. At the same time, the wings of the blood feather heavenly fiend closed and wrapped around his body, forming a huge black sphere, tightly protecting Nye Tian. Boom! There was a loud bang, and the Jinji Wangshan battle armor suddenly collapsed under Nye Tian's blow, without even the slightest strength to fight back. The next moment, the power of purple thunder and lightning exploded with terrifying power again, hitting the blood feather heavenly fiend. Kaka kaka. The blood feather demon was bombarded immediately, cracked inch by inch, instantly shattered into fragments, and dissipated into the air. Nye Tian's body was revealed, his clothes were torn to pieces, and his skin was ripped open by the tyrannical aura. Immediately, in the midair, blood streaked up, and Yuan Li surged. Nye Tian hit the ground like a heavy boulder. Qin Nye Tian's strength is too strong, and a giant spirit warrior is not a four-level Yuan Ling warrior who can compete. Nye Tian was in the air, his body was dripping with blood, and he was seriously injured, but his consciousness was very clear. At the same moment, Tang Yu Yu felt that Nye Tian's breath was still there, and the corners of his mouth raised abruptly, he pinched the orchid finger and flicked it lightly. Swoosh! A black feather blade pierced through the air, directly attacking Nye Tian. Nye Tian, a piece of black feather blade is enough to kill you. With a chuckle, Tang Yu Yu didn't stop for a moment, turned around confidently, and left gracefully. She expected Nye Tian to die, so there was no need to stay, and since her whereabouts had been revealed, it was better to leave as soon as possible. Nye Tian was in midair and suddenly felt a strong wind blowing tens of meters away, and his heart trembled. The tenth Yuan Meridian in the body felt it at this moment, and there was a sudden shock, which made Nye Tian's body stagnate out of thin air. Shua! In just a split second, the Wu Yu blade flew past Nye Tian's shoulder, narrowly avoiding his vital heart. Then, Nye Tian landed heavily and fell directly into the deep pit. Everyone on the scene stared at the deep pit, motionless. Dead. Finally dead. Suddenly, Lan Benji's sharp and piercing voice sounded, ecstatic, almost insane. Being hit head-on by Qin Yedian, the battle armor was shattered, and the blood feather demon was shattered. Everyone believed that Nye Tian would die. Finally dead. Qin Yedian exhaled a long breath of foul air in the sky. If Nye Tian didn't die, he would lose face as the commander of the Imperial Guards at his grandma's house. Fan Jinwu let out a long sigh, and finally heaved a sigh of relief. Zhang Yifeng's expression was shocked. He couldn't believe the scene in front of him. His mental power enveloped him. His face was shocked, and he shouted in horror, No! The teacher is still alive. Boom! Following Zhang Yifeng's words, a cloud of dust suddenly rose from the deep hole in the ground, and a blood-red figure jumped out. It was Nye Tian.